Shalom. This is Netanyahu from the Holy Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadesh, Double Honor City Apostles, the others of Great Millstone that teach and rule well, among many other things. And peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad for winds of earth out there in the highways and hedges of pushing truth and sincerity. Shalom. So, this is going to be a quick report, man. A quick report, all right, because the time's coming, all right. Esau Edom is doing is uh he's tightening things up, man. <clears throat> That's what he's doing. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is tightening things up. Okay. All right, for you Jakes out there, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. All right. And you on to the speckled bird, you Israelite foreigners that come of those uh, uh men that I was talking about. All right, by the house of the father. It's according to what nationality you are. It doesn't matter how you look like. All right. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Okay. And he had 12 sons. And this is really concerning you. All right. Because a lot of y'all are taking his word for granted. A lot of y'all are not taking heed to the words of the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And Esau Edom is tightening things up soon there is about to be something going to happen which in case it's going to be a natural disaster or a, um, a so-called a terrorist attack which is going to be done by these uh sleeper cells right these agents okay agent provocateurs okay to justify uh either coming in to help in the name of uh emergency uh have your ass locked up in a FEMA camp, okay? Now, it says right here, Washington, let me just read this part. Release date, August 3rd, 2023. Test, test messages will be sent to all TVs, radios, and cell phones. Washington, FEMA, in coordination with Federal Communications Commission, FCC, will conduct a nationwide test of emergency alert system and wireless emergency alerts WEA this fall. Now, you got to ask yourself, why would they do such a thing? They've been already practicing, you know, these alarms that go off, you know, um, every month. Okay. And it's not for no joke, man. He's about to make things happen. Okay, just like in a time where this uh, so-called pandemic came about, you know, all in the name of uh, to help you, you took away your rights. Okay, FEMA camp, they're going to come in, they're going to take over, you you know, martial law is going to be declared. All right, all hell is going to break loose. And when the, all the hell break loose, there's going to be a lot of you that are going to be running to the government for help, man. All right, which really sparked up me, uh, like yeah, sparks me up, right? Because this right here, um, let me grab that later on. Um, this is Isaiah chapter thirty-one, verse one, and it reads, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help." Right? And who are the modern-day Egyptians or the so-called white people? They are the modern day Egyptians today. Okay. And if you don't believe me, this is what it says in Joel. This is according to the scriptures, man, what the Heavenly Father has written. Okay. In the scriptures. This is Joel chapter uh, 3. And I'm going to start at verse, uh, let me see, verse 19. Egypt shall be a desol desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. So why is it here in this verse? that um it is showing you that side by side uh, egypt and edom have to do something together everything that so-called white man does uh, these days and has been doing has a lot of, to do with egypt why has he got an obelix in france obelix in washington state why has he got the pyramid on the dollar bill okay there's a lot more that also goes into the government the um the the um the American flag, 
you know, going into the Egyptian rulers that had um, red, white, blue hats. Okay. Um, beer, right? Came from Egypt. Bowling. All right. There's a lot of things that people don't realize what come from Egypt is in America and uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, concerning these Edomites. All right. So it says here, Egypt shall be a, a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed the innocent blood in their land. Right. So there's going to be a recompense to you Edomites, man. OK, but before that happens. This is Isaiah 31 and one and it reads because it's concerning you, you Jake's man. You go to the so-called white man for help because right now the Lord has given them power. If that is the case, why would you run to a man that has been given power by the Heavenly Father? Would you rather much more run to the Heavenly Father yourself, knowing the fact who you are as, as a nation of people which are uh, of the chosen lineage, okay, of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? You know, the righteous seed? Wouldn't you run back to your heritage? Wouldn't you come back to the old ways where you are able to find rest? You know, rest for your soul, your mind, you know, and get comfort by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim El Shai? Or would you rather go down and get help from these damn fucking devils, man? You're going to get help for real. And that cure is going to be death, man. This is right here. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe is, is talking about destruction, right? Because, you know, it's synonymous to destruction, but also meaning mourning and lamentation because <laughs> a lot of y'all are going to be surprised. The true fucking... Um, you're going to see the true fucking colors of these people, man. Okay, the real fucking Edomite is going to come out of them. That ancient spirit is going to come from within, and they're going to show you what they're about, man. So that's why the scriptures say, never uh, never trust thy enemies. This is what the Lord said. We, You know, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, not because we wanted to, to live in different places. Nah, we were, we were put into slavery. And did we ever get uh, uh, a let go? You know, did we ever get our land back? Huh? No. They stole our land, trying to steal our heritage, say that they're the people of the Most High in that land of Israel. That's why they call themselves Israelis, because that's a, that's a people that dwell, that, that means uh, people that dwell in that land. Okay. <laughs> you, you know, you, 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 you Jake's out there, man, you, you, you going to find out the hard way, man. Right, because it says here, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. Right? And that's what you look towards. You look towards the help of these Edomites, right? Because they are powerful. But who gave them that power? Who gave them that power, man? Let me jump and grab this really quick and I'm going to get right back. Um... Uh, Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. I grabbed it before, but I forgot where it was. It's lucky for that. Hold up. Gun. Yeah. I knew it was in chapter four, but I didn't want to take too long because I want to make this quick. So this is Daniel chapter four, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. So the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Just like, that's why Job 9 and 24, he said he given the earth into the hand of the wicked. You know? The earth is in control of these people, man. It is if he gave the earth into the hand of the wicked, right? 
Who is ruling the earth today, man? Who is dictating what people can and cannot do on this earth? It ain't the Indian. It is not definitely no Chinese people. It ain't no uh, African people. It ain't no Arab people either. Okay? Ain't no Japanese, no, you know, so on, whatever. <laughs> ain't none of them. This is so-called white people. Since they've been in power, there's been nothing but war and destruction upon this earth. Nothing but war, man. This earth has been getting destroyed ever since this man has been getting, gotten into power. That's why the whole earth mourning, man. The life within it, itself is mourning, man. The, the, the animals suffer. P yeah, even the people suffer, right? You know? Barely making it day by day, right? Complaining about the taxes. Yeah, because these are, you know, tax upon tax upon tax, you know, based upon interest, which is in the scriptures, you ain't supposed to be uh, gaining interest off of anything. That's usury, right? Unrighteous decrees, these laws and legislations that he has set up. You have to get permission to go travel, Right? So, who, who who is a wicked man? What money on this earth has more power over any other currency? Ask yourself that. Then you know where the where the power lies. Okay, so get over yourself if you think I'm wrong, and go go look it for yourself, man. Right, and give it to whomsoever he will, and set it up over it the basis of men. Right, basis, base, basement. It's like the this below level. Now, the so-called white man is known to having, uh, uh, what is that called? Um, um, damn, uh, I just knew it. Um, recessive genes. Right, the lowest of the low, man. They have recessive genes. It's in it's it's, it's their so-called science even says that. Blue eyes, and blonde hair, that's recessive genes, man. It's a defect. <laughs> okay. You you know, with, with the so-called color folks, you can get any kind of color, uh shade of color of people, man. But with them, you don't get nothing but weak people, man. Okay? And as a fact, man. You know, like the Neanderthal that they created. Neanderthal, that was actually them when we pushed them up into the Rus uh, in Russia and uh, uh, in, into the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia, Russia. When the west part of Rome fell, we pushed them up into uh, Georgia, Russia in the Caucasus Mountains. That's why they call themselves Caucasian today. That, that's the period where they were <laughs> grunting and running around in the damn woods you know, naked and shit and, and living in caves, man. Okay? Those are facts, man. Check out the history, right? So the Heavenly Father ruleth in the kingdom of men. He gives it to whoever he wants. Yeah, he done that. And guess what? Every nation upon this earth had its chance to rule. And every one of them, you know, had their turn. Okay? So... You, you, Jake's out there, man. You better realize something. But you won't. It's Isaiah 31 and 1, just to finish this off. Vote to them that uh, that go down to Egypt for help, right? And stay on uh, and stay on horses and trust in chariots. You know, they're, they're the tanks, their jets, right? Because there are many and horse uh, and in the uh, and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not onto the Holy One of Israel. And who is the Holy One of Israel? Our Lord, man. Yahweh be in the Heavenly Father's name. Bahasham in the name, right? Uh, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly called Jesus. Okay, the letter J, in a, you know, didn't come about 400 years ago. So a man that was born two, 3,000 years ago, right? His name was not Jesus. And you know, Yahushua, those letters never existed. Okay? And, 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 and to top it off, the Hebrew only has um, 
the letter A, uh, A and I, okay? So that there's no no U, okay? Um, and um, yeah, so his name was Yahweh Shai. He deliver, and he's only coming to save his people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. And even on to the uh, uh, speckled bird, you Israelite foreigners, that may look of the other, other nations. You might look like a so-called white man. You might look like a so-called Arab or Chinese or Japanese, right? But if, you're, if your forefathers come back to the, or those men that I was talking about, you are a Hebrew Israelite, okay? Originally, of course, Israel, we all were men and women of color. All right, but the men of Israel had children with other, other nations. So, of course, we're going to take on different characteristics the way we look like. OK, but the point is, is this. You don't look onto the Holy One of Israel, which is our Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. OK, Yahweh Shai, neither seek the Lord, man, the Heavenly Father. OK, you don't seek Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai at all, man. You seek these damn devils that are in rulership. And the reason why this whole system is corrupt, because the head is corrupt. These people that are ruling are corrupt. So the rest of society is going to be corrupt. But if you have a righteous ruler upon this earth that do the judgments of the Heavenly Father, there, there is not going to be no wickedness like this going on. Right? And so now we are waiting for the kingdom, but yet you run to help, to get help from these Edomites. And you're going to find out, man. You're going to find out in these FEMA camps, man. These FEMA camps are not only going to be in America, but also in Europe as well. Don't forget about that, man. World War II, right? The scriptures say that the, the, the first war, uh, the second war was passed, and the third one cometh quickly. And that's talking about World War II has already passed, and the uh, World War III is coming quick. And what happened in World War II? You had you had camps, right? People were getting locked up, imprisoned, starved to death, tortured, beaten up. Those things are coming back again. And and people don't realize that this is going to be a whole new ballpark. Because systematically, people are going to be getting locked up. Okay, people that are speaking is truth, people that are speaking against the government. Okay, those are the people that are going to be getting locked up and put to death, man. Okay, but for the elect, not one hair is going to, you're not going to be able to touch one hair of Israel, man. Of course, there's going to be some that are going to be uh, a, a martyr, that are going to be put to death. Why? To fulfill prophecy, man. See, there's nothing you can do against the truth but for the truth. And it's a beautiful thing, man. But uh, anyways, it says here, the national test will consist of two portions, testing WEA and EAS capabilities. Both tests are scheduled to begin at approximately 2.20 p.m. ET on Wednesday, October the 4th. So it's probably already started. It's already been a, you know, a while ago, right? But this is this is what's going on, man. Esau has the whole stage set up, man. All under the banner of we are here to help you. Boy, you you guys got something coming, man. You you Jakes have no idea, man. Let me grab a couple more scriptures and I'm, I'm gonna close it. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse nine, and it reads, oh, verse ten. Behold, my people is led. As a flock to the slaughter, man. So you, you Jake's out there in this world, man, that want to go, uh, go to uh, Egypt for help, man. Okay, you are being brought to the slaughter. You have no idea what this dude has set up, man. He wants to get rid of you. There's nothing that you can do about it. You know the scriptures say that he is our enemy, and he, the heavenly Father knows it better than us. 
But through the Spirit and the power of the Heavenly Father, you have the servants of prophets that are bringing everything to light. And that is knowledge from that was given from up high, man. You know, these words that we speak is not about, about how we feel like. This is what the Heavenly Father has gave us to talk about, man. We are the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father, man. And the thing is, you could sit there and say what you want to say, but there's going to come a point where all these things that have been spoken upon is going to come to pass, and then that you should know that there was a prophet among you, man. That's when you're going to know. Right now, it might seem crazy to you, but that's fine. You know, that's fine. Go to these fucking people for help. Go ahead. You don't want to listen? Go ahead, man. Go right ahead. The thing is, we are uh, compelling you to come back to the Heavenly Father for help, man. We are telling you to come back to the Heavenly Father in the Son's name for help. Okay? And there's going to come a time where you're going to find out the hard way. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, and it reads, Lest Satan should get advantage of us, right? Because there's going to be very, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of things that are going to deceive many people, man. It's going to be very, very, this devil is very fucking cunning, man. Everything that's being set up is for people to fall, to crack, when you ain't got no food. What are you going to do to feed your children? Are you going to take the MOTB? Are you going to take the Karagma? The Revelations chapter um, 13 verse 16? you going to take that mark so you can get some food? You know, this is, this is where it comes down to where you're going to have to make a choice, man. Is either the Heavenly Father in His Son's name or you worried about Living here because the scriptures say, "He that lose, uh, he that." Let me grab it. I think it was in uh, Luke twenty-one. Let me finish this off. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of his devices. FEMA camp, right? The Windows nineteen, right? The jump shot. We we are not ignorant of his devices. These devices are not set up for you to be helped with, man. These devices are there to destroy you. This motherfucker came to this earth to rape, rob, and murder. The blessings that the Heavenly Father has given these so-called white people is a sword, man. And what have he been doing? He's been using it to the fullest. And wait till he's about to bring out the big toys, man. <laughs> you have no idea what this dude is capable of. All right, no idea, man. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, what is uh, See. I hate that screen. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Yeah, I found it. Come on, it's lucky for that. Anyway, so this is Luke 17, verse 32. Now, this is a reminder from the Lord himself. This is what he said. Remember Lot's wife. Now, what happened to Lot's wife, right, when that destruction came? She looked back, man. Right? She looked back because she wanted to be still living the way she was before with all that wickedness that was going on. Okay? 
Who, verse 33, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. So if you're worried about still having that life that you had before, because it's going to be gone. It ain't never coming back. It ain't never coming back. You guys, you don't understand. Once this devil gets the ball rolling, once the Heavenly Father gives him the green light to do what he's going to do, okay, this life that we are living is finished. This society, this world that we're living in, this kingdom that is ruling right now, right? The countries that are ruling, so what you want to call it, it is going to be finished. Education, your your school, your 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 jobs, your things, your societies, everything gone, and it's never coming back. It ain't never coming back. Let me say it again. It's finished, man. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it because. Everything is about to be done away with. And if you're worried about holding on to whatever is left, you're going to do what is whatever in your power to, to, to keep it that way. And you're going to lose your life, man. You're going to lose your soul. And how is that? Because the Heavenly Father is going to destroy your ass, man. Why? Because you made a covenant with this devil. That's what the mark is about, man. Look the word up in the Kharagma, I mean, in the etymology, which is Kharagma, right? If you go further into the etymology in the Blue Letter Bible, it goes into Kharaks. If you go further into the etymology of that word, it goes into Grafo. And that is the device that gives you all the information and everything that you need, right? Your bank account, your age, where you live, where you were born. So on and so on. Right? So it gives you the device that they're going to use to insert it. And the device that's going to be planted in your skin. In your skin. And that is an unforgivable. That's a sin that's unforgivable. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, is going to destroy you, man. Right? But it says here, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Meaning, if you're willing to give up the life that we have right now and not give two shits about it, which really you should be in that spirit already. Right? Where, you, you know, this devil is going to come in uh, as, a, uh, as a madman, sparing none. That's, that's what he's about to come in like. Spoiling and destroying those, uh, those that fear the Lord. That, that's the spirit that he's about to come with. All in the banner of, 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 of we're here to help you, FEMA camp. Right? Or is it a Project Megiddo? You know? These devils have it all set up, man. So... If you're willing to give the, this life for a kingdom to come where righteousness dwell upon the earth, the Lord is going to preserve you, man. You know, he's going to preserve you from, from, uh, from the dangers. But for you, for you two-thirds, which is made up in America, man, the Heavenly Father is going to destroy your ass, man. He's going to preserve, preserve the, the one-third, man. Right? And the, and, the, and the elect, which is scattered throughout the four corners, man. So don't be fooled by Satan's device, man. These uh, things that he's doing right now, he's going to he's gonna, he's gonna make some moves. The Heavenly Father is about to give him the green light, man. And everything that you have right now in this world is, is finished, man. Just realize... Everything that you have in this world is going to be done away with. Ain't no coming back. The society that you once belo uh, loved so much is going to be gone. Ain't coming back, man. And if you get your mind, your heart ready for that, 
right? You get your mind, your heart right for that, man. Ready for it? Through the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father. Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. Because you're going with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures that the Heavenly Father has given us, right? It's going to keep you stable in these times that are to come, right? The scriptures say, He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. So we have to endure because, hey, <laughs> this, this devil is about to come in having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. And he's trying to take everybody that he can with, with him. He's trying to actually upset the prophecy, man. He wants the elect. These Edomites want the elect, man. Why? He wants the blessings. He wants the blessings, man. But the Heavenly Father has not set it up that way. You ain't got the birthright. You ain't got the blessings, Esau. You sold it, man. And and the thing is, you weren't given it either. You got your blessing. You had the earth. You had your chance to do what you did. And you did a great job, man. You did a wonderful job. That was, that was your mission. That was your job to do the things that you're doing right now. So that way Israel can know both sides of the tree, man. Evil and good, man. Right? So we can understand what evil is about. And you know what? You did a great job, man. So in the kingdom to come, man, where it's going to be righteousness, we're going to be whooping your fucking ass, man. Right? You're not even going to get a FEMA camp for, for where you're going to live or a ghetto. You're going to have a hole in the fucking ground where you're going to fucking sleep. Do you even get any sleep? And all them bruises and shit that you're going to get. I don't know if you're going to be able to lay down on some fucking rocks and water. I'm going to make it real uncomfortable for you, man. Yeah, man. So for that, you know, I'll just stop rambling. Yeah, I wrote this out. It's edifying, man. Just, hey, man. Watch and pray that you don't fall into temptations. Be not entangled with the affairs of this world. It's about to be over with, man. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, Double Long City Apostles, that is a great millstone, that teach and rule well among many other things, and peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad for winds of earth out there in the highways and hedges, and pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom.